Hey everyone, what's up? I just really wanted to talk about something that's been bothering me recently. So last Monday, I had this exam, alright? And one of my friends decided that studying for the exam was kind of overrated, so she waited until the weekend before the exam to start studying. But then, the weekend before, she got invited to a bar with one of her friends. So basically, she starts studying Sunday night, and when she has the exam on, Sun on Monday morning, of course, she fails it. So now, failing the exam isn't a problem, it's completely natural. Sometimes you'll just fail exams, because either you won't study or whatever, you were busy, you didn't understand it. But the problem was when she walked up to me afterwards and what she told me, which was, oh my god, I, I can't believe I failed that exam. That was so hard, like, I, I don't understand. I just, I don't understand anything, like, what happened? Uh, I'm so bad at this, I can't, I can't do this anymore, like, I think I'm gonna cry. Why are you crying? Why are you complaining? Of course you failed the exam, you didn't study for it. You decided to go out to a bar with your friends, which is fine, but if you wanted to pass your test, maybe you should have thought about that before going to a bar. Stop doing that, just stop. There's just such a better way of seeing the world than to just always complain and be such a defeatist about everything. When you complain about something and you don't do any steps to fix that problem, that is a sign of weakness. It's giving in to whatever isn't right in your life and letting it control you. It means that the event went right past your rational thought and straight into your emotions. So instead of thinking about what you did wrong and how you could fix it, you're stuck thinking about how the stupid exam bothers you and how you hate it. There is no reason to let ourselves get defeated by events like that. Nobody likes somebody who complains all the time. It's usually a sign that you're really unambitious and that you're that type of person that usually just looks at the world, points out saying, this is so bad, oh this person does everything so wrong, I hate this guy, this prime minister does everything terribly, so you just complain about everything and you do nada, nothing to fix it. If we were to graph the life of a complainer, it would look a bit like this. You move forward, you complain, you do nothing, you complain more, and you do nothing and you complain even more and your life is a flat line. There is no evolution, there is nothing. You're just complaining and you're not doing anything with your life. There's actually another attitude which is very similar and maybe a little less common, but it's still out there and it's still really bad and that is blamers. Blaming is even worse. It's actually, instead of like, you know, just having a flat line, you're actually being destructive. So you're pulling things around you down. A complainer will do nothing, so nothing will happen, you just complain. But a blamer, instead, when you hit a wall, you'll go and say, oh, well, this guy over here, it's his fault, and then he gets chased down by the cops or whatever, and he gets put down, his reputation gets screwed. So you're pulling everything around you downwards to, like, make your life easier, which is a lot worse than complaining, because everyone around you that you blame hates you. Blaming is a sign that you can't accept responsibility for your actions, and it's really annoying because it usually means that you're ready to go out of your way to bring other people down for basically no reason at all. This kind of attitude is unpleasant for others, and it's usually a complete waste of time because instead of trying to fix the problem, you're just sending everyone on a wild goose chase trying to find whoever is responsible for the problem. So, when you think of it, whenever you blame someone or something or complain, there's usually, it usually always means that there's a problem or there's something to be improved or there's something wrong. The way my friend should have seen the failed exam is more along the lines of, I went out to a bar when I didn't understand what the test was going to be about and I didn't take the time to study, so next time I should make sure that I understand everything, that I take the time to study and that if I'm not sure, that I don't go out to a bar the weekend before. You know, like there's always a way that she could be improving herself instead of just complaining. So don't be that guy or that girl that always just complains about everything and does nothing about it or doesn't even understand that there's something to be done about it because nobody likes that. It's, it's really annoying. It won't be very long that your self-esteem and your self-confidence will skyrocket simply because whenever you or someone close to you will be confronted with a problem or a difficult situation, you will always be there either knowing the answer or being trying to fix it which is in no way reproachable at all by anybody. It'll help you become someone that's a lot more hardworking, you'll be a lot more knowledgeable and wise, and people will come to you for advice about things just because whenever you were faced with a problem, you tried to fix it while they were just sat there going, oh no, this is so hard, I hate it, oh my god. And if ever somebody asks you, how do you know so much? How are you so mature? I, I don't get it. And then all you have to say is, whenever I had a complaint about something, 
I took action. And so this is my action, and I hope that in turn, whenever you complain, you'll think about this video and act in turn yourselves. There's no reason not to be the best that you can be. Peace.